Well, hello everyone. This is Senior Pastor George W. Reese Jr., the proud pastor of This Rock Christian Tabernacle. And on behalf of my wife, Pastor Mary E. Reese, and all of This Rock, we welcome you to this uh, words of encouragement from the desk of the pastor. And the word on today is be not fearful. And first, I mean, Second Timothy 1, and seven, it says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. And on today, we are faced with this um, being fearful or to be afraid of many different things right now. We see all the different atrocities going on when people are going to different places of commerce and even of different places of worship. The enemy is right there. And he's trying to instill fear into people so that they won't go and do what God would have them to do. And that is to live this life to glorify God. But the spirit of fear is uh, jumping on people. And, and, and Timothy says, uh, fear is a spirit. It's not something that we can see, but it's something that we can feel or if we let it have its way, it can dominate us in our hearts, which is our mind on how we view things. Fear can make you not go forth. And, you know, fear is very deadly. It's not the danger that kills people or the, uh, you know, because, but the thing is, if you don't fear, you can get out of a lot of situation that may cost you a life, your health, it uh, may do you physical harm. But because of fear running and being dominant in a lot of people's lives, they are so fearful to go anywhere. They're fearful to go outside the door, fearful to drive a car, fearful to ride in an airplane, fearful to go to the grocery market or, or, or even going to church because the enemy, you know, are doing so many crazy things. And people say, well, if I go there, then something may happen to me. But I'm just uh, encouraging you on today to trust in God. For when we trust in God through Jesus the Christ, and he said, uh, we're more than a conqueror. And he, Jesus tell us, if I before you, I'm more than the whole world against you. So with this confidence, we can go forth. We can walk and do what Jesus tell us to do. We can live a life and life more abundant. You know, cause uh, people are so fearful or unknown. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what the future holds. And a lot of time we make a lot of plans, but without Jesus on our side, we don't know if we're going to accomplish those plans. And in our minds, we sometimes uh, think of many big bridges and we'll never even get to cross a lot of them without Jesus. And then a lot of them, we're fearful to go forth and God has given us a path to freedom, a path to holiness and righteousness, path to on a life to be abundant and to glorify God but because of fear we're afraid to strike out and do anything I don't know if I can do it I don't know if I can make it what if what if we need to get rid of all that what if and just say I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me and just go forth with a holy boldness doing what God has ordained for you to do go get your education Go get your life and your life more abundant. Maybe uh, God is telling you to launch out and start your own business. Do it. Trust God. God telling you to do it. Uh, you may have some failure, but just trust God. I cannot think of anybody that was immediate success that they didn't have to go through some failures. And failures can cause people to be fearful. What if this doesn't make it? What if this doesn't go through we can't live our life for what is. We have to live our life. I encourage you on the promises of God. And if Jesus is with you, he more than enough. Jesus will make the crooked path straight. He will allow your visions that he has given you to come true. Go with the vision Jesus has given you. Remember this, he's always giving you provisions for the vision. In other words, he has already provided everything that you need for this vision to come true. I'm encouraging you.
Don't be fearful. Trust God. Trust God until we see each other again. God bless you.